What is up guys, it's Spec the Gadget here and today I thought it would be a great idea to have a discussion about my impressions of the newly announced iPhone 5S. So I basically wanted to give you guys a recap of the event, a recap of the announcements and the features that were mentioned and I also wanted to get your take on the iPhone 5S down in the comment section below. And if you missed the event guys, I've also put a link to that down in the comment section. So without further ado, let's get inspecting. <laughs> So right out the gate, the first thing worth mentioning is that the new iPhone 5S is rocking a brand new processor. The A7 processor is a 64-bit processor, and if you guys don't know what 64-bit is, I'll probably do a 64-bit architecture explained video later. But uh, basically all you need to know is that it's going to be twice as fast and twice the power of its predecessor, the A6 processor. And one of the other things Apple also introduced in this new iPhone 5S is the M7 coprocessor. Now the M7 processor, the M standing for motion is basically going to take care of all of those tasks that deal with motion. So your accelerometer, your gyroscope, your compass, all of those things are going to be handled, all those tasks are going to be taken care of by the M7 processor, sort of mitigating or alleviating the uh, processing power needed by the A7 chip. But that's not the most remarkable feature of the iPhone 5S. The most exciting new feature of the iPhone 5S is Touch ID. So if you remember back in 2012, Apple purchased this fingerprint technology company by the name of Authentic for a whopping $356 million. So this is likely the fruits of that acquisition. So what's Touch ID? Touch ID is basically a fingerprint reader embedded in the home screen that, or home button rather, that allows you to unlock your iPhone. So you might be thinking, well, that's pretty cool. You know, I can use that. But when you really think about the concept of this technology, it's pretty far reaching. I mean, this could really revolutionize the way that we purchase items. I mean, just using our fingerprints. And you might be wondering, well, how secure is this? Well, Apple says that uh, this the signature, the information is not stored in the cloud. It's actually stored on the device and it's uh, very much encrypted so that it's not going to be easy for people to hack into it. So you might be wondering, well, you know, what about somebody uh, being able to, you know, unlock the phone with their fingerprint? So what you got to understand is that this is biometric technology, which means it only identifies you. It's a unique signature of you. So it can't actually identify anyone else unless perhaps you're an identical twin or someone can get close enough to to you to saw off your skin or hack off your fingers, you're not going to have any issues with people uh, unlocking your device. So no more worrying about people looking over your shoulder while you type in your password. Uh, this thing is going to be completely awesome. Now obviously, you know, we don't know how this is going to play out in the real world. I haven't actually got a chance to hold the device, but once I get a chance to use the device, we can see how accurate uh, this thing uh, uses your fingerprint to unlock your device. And I think this is going to be an awesome innovation to the smartphone industry. I think other manufacturers are going to follow suit and you're going to see similar technology in their flagship models. So one of the other bullet points for the iPhone 5S is that Apple has actually upgraded the iSight camera. So what it's done is it's included a larger lens sensor, which is actually 15% larger, and it also included a wider aperture at f2.2. So what this is going to do is it's going to give you 33% more light. So in low light situations, this camera is going to be phenomenal. And uh, it's basically just going to give you an overall better quality picture there. So other noteworthy additions to the camera are True Tone Flash, which basically allows you to get more natural colors when using the flash. Also there's something called photo burst which, ba which basically allows you to take 10 frames, uh, 10 shots in one second uh, so that you can easily capture those precious moments. And also there is a slow motion mode that allows you to shoot uh, 120 frames per second slow motion HD video. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So those are the basic uh, you know, upgrades to the iSight camera. So that's about it for my first impressions of the iPhone 5S guys. I wish it had NFC and I wish that you know the iOS 7 did a little more but other than that I think they have some pretty good innovations some pretty good additions to the iPhone and uh, guys you can purchase the iPhone 5s September 20th on all the major carriers for $199, $299 and $399 for the 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte versions respectively and that's about it guys let me know what you think about the iPhone 5s down in the comment section below uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button as it helps me out more than you know and if you want the latest and greatest in tech news and reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm Inspector Gadget and I will see you on the other side. Deuces.